is the CompTIA ITF Plus worth your time? How long does it take to study for the ITF? Is it worth paying the exam fee? And is the ITF really for you? These are some of the common questions people have about the CompTIA ITF certification and I'll be providing an answer to some of these questions. In my next video, I'll be going over some of the resources and study methods that have helped me study and pass the ITF exam. Again, my name is Koi Tech and I go over IT and game development topics. If you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe so I, so I can continue to provide helpful content to my viewers. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to comment down below and I'll reply to your comment or question. So we'll start off with the first question. Is the ITF worth your time? Well, before I answer that question, I'll be giving a brief summary of the ITF certification for those who are not familiar with the certification. So the ITF is a pre-assessment certification taken by many who start off in IT. The ITF goes over basic IT concepts such as computer hardware, programming, how applications and software work, etc. Basically, you get a little taste of every IT field and having that exposure can actually help you to determine which path or field you want to take when getting into IT. And another thing you should note is that the CompTIA ITF does not require any prior experience with IT. And I should also mention that the, I, that the CompTIA ITF is a good for life certification, meaning you will never have to be concern about renewing it. More information about the ITF certification is listed on the website and the link will be listed down in the description. Now we're back on to the question, is the ITF Plus worth studying for? And my answer to that question is yes. From my experience studying for the ITF certification, I was able to learn different pieces of information that really helped set my foundation of IT knowledge. Others might tell you differently or tell you to go ahead and skip to the A plus certification before taking the ITF certification. It, and I've noticed that people that do this often struggle to understand the A plus material. Will getting the ITF get you your first job in IT? Maybe, but most likely it's not but rather it will set the foundation of your IT career. Think of it as this way. You can't build a house or property without first setting the foundation. It's the same way with IT certifications. I 100% recommend first taking the ITF and continue building your knowledge from there. Again, taking the ITF will make your studying for the A plus 10 times easier. You'll have a better understanding of the concepts gone over in the A+, and have a higher chance of passing the A+, exam with the understanding of the concepts in your pocket. Question some might have is, well, how long does it take to study and prep for the ITF certification? And this really depends on a couple of factors such as how much time you put into studying each day, your schedule, and consistency. For me, with my current schedule, I was able to fit in one hour of study, studying each day consistently, and I was able to finish my studies in under four months. Like I said, it really depends on how much time you're putting into each day and how consistent you are with studying. I would also like to mention that I used a total of three resources to help me study for my ITF and I took dozens of practice tests prior to taking the exam. In my next video, I will be listing out some of the resources that have helped me prepare for the ITF exam. Now we're on to the pricing of the CompTIA ITF Plus exam. The exam currently costs about 138 for one exam voucher, but there are discounts available to you. You can get a discount if you purchase the voucher with a bundle or if you have an academic account associated with CompTIA, you will receive a discount for training products. We're on to the last question. Is the ITF really for you? Now it really depends on your current IT experience you hold. 
For example, if you've taken the A plus prior to the ITF releasing, or you've had years of experience in the IT industry, I wouldn't recommend taking the ITF if you already have experience in, in, in IT and you're confident in your IT skills. Like I mentioned in my intro, the ITF certification is oriented to those who are new to IT or considering switching careers and want to take the first steps into getting a career in IT. I hope you found this video helpful and I'm looking forward to publishing my next video that goes over some of the resources I use to help me study and pass the ITF exam. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and, I, and I'll be happy to answer your question. Thank you.